Hey guys, welcome back to another Create a Sim video. So in this video, I'm actually doing a Sim self, which is really fun because I haven't actually done a Sim self since I dyed my hair or since I started to dye my hair ginger. My hair like kind of has always had a red like tint to it. Um, I used to be strawberry blonde when I was like really little and then got darker as I grew up. And then I dyed my hair a bunch of whole like funky colors and all that fun stuff. And then uh, I was natural for a pretty long time and then I started to go ginger because I really love having ginger hair. Um, a lot of people think I would dye my hair like brownish when I was younger and like with my hair being dyed red, like when I go get my eyebrows done and like tattoos or something like that, people are always like, yeah, like you gingers because my skin reacts like how like ginger skin reacts to things and I just like have like they, it was like whoever is makes the people was like, let's make this person like 99% ginger, but the hair color won't be because like I burn like a ginger. I barely tan. Like I've only recently started tanning. I have burned every other time and then I fade just right back to white. But this past summer was the only time I've actually gotten like a good tan. And that is because I applied like 100 SPF daily because I work outside now. So I had to. Wasn't an option. But anyways, back to my sim self. Um, it was really fun to be able to do this. I struggled with what eyes I wanted to use because with my sim self, I wasn't sure if I wanted to use like my default eyes that I use like with my normal households or if I wanted to use kind of the fun alpha eyes. Um, so I decided on the alpha eyes because I wanted to switch it up. I kind of wanted to make this look as realistic as I could. Uh, I wouldn't say I have super dark brown eyes, but like they're definitely not light brown by any stretch of the imagination. Like my eyes are dark brown. So I kind of struggled with like what coloring to do there, especially because um, there wasn't a lot of options for brown swatches. Also, my hair is like pretty long. It's very, very straight. The hair I end up using has a little bit more wave to it. And that would be kind of how I think it looks when I style it. I think that hair suited the best. I would have used like the one that's um, kind of the half up, half down, but it like clipped through the boobs of my sim. So I was like, okay, no, not going to happen. Also, you can see that with my nose, it's very like, um, I don't have a whole lot for the bridge of my nose. It's just kind of like a swoop down. My nose is like that in real life. When I catch myself from like my side profile, I'm like, why the fuck does my nose look like a ski slope? But I digress. And also with piercings, it was um, fun because I haven't had a like nose ring since I've done a sim self. It's just very fun to update it. And like I didn't want to update my past sim self because that seemed like a cheap way out. And so I just decided to like start from scratch. And I've actually started making some of my other friends in sims because I just kind of like the challenge that it gives me. Some of them, it's like, how do I recreate your face? But others, I'm like, damn, this is so accurate. I'm kind of scared by myself. It was a lot of fun, though. I also couldn't decide for an outfit what I wanted to do because normally I wear jeans and then like some form of like green crew neck or sweater or like a black shirt with a logo on it. And I actually found like this nice like tan shirt, which you'll see I have. Um, and it kind of reminded me of one of my shirts that I like wore all summer. And I was like, you know what? Let's do this. Let's switch it up a little bit. I also got to use a different body preset in an attempt to kind of make it look more like my body. So that was really fun too. I love making these kind of creative sims because honestly, in a lot of the videos I put out, I am pushing myself and challenging myself in new creative ways. And it's a whole hell of a lot of fun for me to get to do that. Um, I also really enjoy like making things like a sim self and being like well how can I make this realistic and it was really fun to do it with me because I know my wardrobe like when I make my friends it's like okay let me look at this picture on Instagram from like three years ago and you might not even own this shirt anymore but like even with my formal wear in this create a sim I literally have a dress exactly like that it's like much more like of that true red but it's still like a red dress with like the flowy sleeves and all that kind of stuff. Um, the sleeves are just like slightly like longer on my real dress um, and like my athletic wear and like all this stuff. It was just a lot of fun to make. I really enjoyed this creative sim. It's just like super fun for me to kind of make that into like content for you guys. I love videos where I'm having a lot of fun with it, which is most of my videos, but it's like 
you know, sometimes it's like, ooh, I don't know if that was that good. And normally I do just scrap the whole entire video if I don't like it. But this one I really liked. This was a lot of fun. And I finally like learned how to use my preset when I made this video because I had to re-download Sims onto my hard drive just because I was trying to clean up my computer. Tell me why Sims took up like 40 gigabytes of space. And it wasn't even necessarily just Sims. It was like Origin specifically. So like I don't like the EA app because it scares me and it's new. But I do like the EA app because it doesn't take up 40 gigabytes of unnecessary space. But yeah, so I finally got my presets to work because I um, had to reinstall Reshade. And oh my god, my Sims game looks so good. Like y'all have seen it since um, because this video like is coming out after other videos that I've posted with the Reshade preset that I have been attempting to use the whole time but finally has worked with like Maxo and like the depth of field stuff for the thumbnails. It's just chef's kiss so good. But anyways, we're coming up towards the end of the video here. So I'm going to stop rambling. I got a few pictures of my sim, uh, but I hope you all enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. Also a reminder for new friends, I do have a discord and the link for that is in the uh, description down below. So if you're interested in joining that, feel free. It is welcome to anyone. And yeah, I hope you all have a beautiful day wherever you are. Bye-bye.